Hey world, I'm Weezy, and today I'm going to do a material test on Sleet using my Atorm Laser Master 3 and Lightburn. So let's get to it. Once we have Lightburn open, we're going to go to Laser Tools and open up the Material Test tab. This will open up the Material Test Generator. Here you can change rows, columns, speed, and power parameters. But the only thing I'm going to do is change the center. This is solely so I can see better and record through the field of view on my exhaust hood. Next, I'm going to double check and make sure the setting is set to fill. If I don't do that, it, it'll just do an outline of the box instead of filling it in completely. And then I'm going to frame. That looks pretty good. After framing, I always like to take a look at the preview. It'll let me know how long the project is going to run for. And it's always a good idea to take a look at the rapid movements. Typically, you want the rapid movements to be less than the cut distance. But for this project, let it slide. Time to hit start. Looks beautiful. We have some nice shades of gray and even some yellowing at the lower speeds at the higher setting. Time for some glamour shots. So here we are, it's all done. I'm gonna use this as a reference for future projects. I do have one in mind for one of my friend's birthday, so I'm very excited to get started on that. And I do wanna show you, I've been using this coaster for a little bit now. It didn't come out the way that I wanted to. It didn't, it only did the boxes and it didn't fill it in. So that's what happens when you don't check your parameters. Um, but these are both untreated slate, so you could see that the water stains on this coaster are pretty bad. And even on this coaster, I'm trying not to touch the front at all because my greasy fingers leave uh, quite a mark on the back. So I'm going to keep it in a plastic bag. I do have a coaster that I've already treated with a stone sealer. And I'm going to rerun this test on the sealed stone so I know what the gradient looks like. Um, or if there's any difference in gradient. And if you want to see those results, just let me know down in the comments. So I'll make a video on that and post that so you can have a reference for yourself in the future. All right, so that's it for this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.